And healthcare workers are warning Kenyans about the need to find alternative means of treatment come Monday as they embark on a strike. Talks between the government and various medical unions in the last three weeks to resolve issues affecting the health sector have failed. As the strike draws closer, the reality of the COVID-19 surge remains ever-present with the numbers remaining high. While cases of fatalities also remain high, Raquel Moigai with the latest on the looming health crisis. For Kenyans who fall ill after Sunday, the road to recovery, especially if you will require medical attention, is not going to be an easy one. Those who already have patients in the wards, can you start preparing your patients to transfer elsewhere? As from Monday, you will not be seeing anyone in the wards. Yes. If that is the reggae that the, the government is singing, we are going to sing the reggae the style they want. Yes. And we are not going to relent until this issue is resolved. We have been having issues with meeting our daily needs, even with meeting the most essential uh, requirements that are required for us to be able to attend to the patients optimally. These clinical officers vowing to take part in the healthcare workers' strike come Monday. It is unfortunate we lost a colleague the other day. We are now going into rounds of doing, uh, conducting uh, harambes to pay, his, to pay his bill, while the government is deducting our money in an NHIF scheme of the same amount. So it should be a reciprocate of the same. Ever since the doctors issued their 21-day strike notice on the 16th of November and nurses issued their 14-day strike notice a week later on the 23rd of November, the government has so far failed to strike a deal to keep the health workers at their workstations. This coming at a time when 1,189 people infected with COVID-19 have been admitted across various hospitals in the country, 76 among them being in the intensive care unit, while another 65 being separately admitted on supplementary oxygen. And while 12 people were recorded to have died in the last 24 hours, the number of new infections in the last 24 hours was 735 people, a positivity rate of 9.5%. <laughs> Meanwhile, police officers from the Embakasi police station came together with friends of Embakasi to donate masks and sanitary towels to vulnerable persons in the community. Uh, 